can we can we take all of these pieces and kind of put the jigsaw puzzle together and make it fit right? Because if it does, uh, we can be pretty good. On paper, Quincy Notre Dame certainly has the requisite basketball DNA to win big. This is a roster chocked full of enviable attributes, most obviously experience, with eight returning seniors and five either full or part-time starters back, including a cornerstone player among them and Alex Fitch. I think he's really kind of kind of really set himself up to be you know that leader type and and the guy that really wants it um, when that when the time comes and and uh, again the versatility that he has is 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 even more significant because it doesn't have to be with scoring although he's an incredible scorer he can find other ways uh, I think to hurt you and I think we have other weapons that he can utilize uh, to find those other ways which is kind of nice as well probably gonna have to play a little more in the post so that's why I've, I've worked on that a little bit in the summer and uh, just uh, being an all-around player more working on my defense and uh, conditioning is a lot because I know uh, I'm gonna have to play some big minutes so uh, I can't be out there getting tired and Scott Douglas's ability to stretch Alex Fitch in different roles works both ways. When employed in the paint, he becomes an ideal complement to emerging six foot nine center Matt McPherson. You mentioned him progressing, and uh, he's progressed more than anyone in these three years. And uh, I'm just excited to see him get out there and uh, show what he's got because I think uh, a lot of people have just seen him as just a big guy in the middle that took up space. But I mean, now he's just an offensive threat, defensive threat, and uh, you know we have we don't have. Uh, same uh, size with Mellon gone, but uh, I think that adds to our athleticism with uh, having more, you know, guard people that can play a guard spot or a forward spot. That may well be the most intriguing aspect of this Raider team going forward. The wave after wave of guard play Scott Douglas can call upon in support of his front court. The only thing that that you know we we are a little bit more established in some in in some of with our some of our seniors that have had some experience and so bringing everybody up to that speed I think is still kind of a challenge and and but once we do I think once we get everybody to that speed then all of a sudden um, you know the idea of being deep is is true we will have some depth and and I think that's something that we'll use to our advantage hopefully. Uh, you can look at it as pressure. I mean, we have a lot of people coming back, so of course you're going to be picked to be one of the top teams in the area. But before the season, that really means nothing. It's all about what you do when you come in and you get your work done. Because in, uh, in this area, there's a lot of good teams, and uh, it's just a matter who comes out the toughest. Not the talent isn't going to matter in the end, especially after everybody has been practicing together and the chemistry builds. I'm excited about the potential. Um, but as we've told these guys that right now, it is just that. It is potential, and, and uh, we've got to make the most of whatever that, whatever that means. Good group of boys, though, and, and uh, a group that I think uh, will lend itself very well to having a good opportunity to be good.